You might be asking yourself, why are we seeing this again? We've done this already. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this using electric field. And hopefully to demonstrate why the concept of electric field is handy in dealing with these type of questions. Again, we'll get rid of this thing. That's not of our concern because it's about figure B. So I'll remind you again that in the end, we can find out the force simply by multiplying my Q, this is my Q here, by the E at the particular point that it is at. So if we just find out the E first, then we can do that last part fairly quickly. And in this case, my point P is at four centimeters. Again, I'll name these charges A, B, C, D. And very similarly, I will also do a chart or a table to keep track of various things. The charge in microcoulomb, that hasn't changed. Negative two plus one plus three minus one. Based on that here. Then direction, because E just like forces is also a vector quantity. In terms of direction, an easy way to come up with a direction is to imagine, so say I have negative 2q here, or negative 2 microcoulombs in this case, uh, I put a test charge as positive. Then which way is the test charge going to go based on that? Well, being a negative here and a positive here, it's going to want to go towards it. So for all negative charges, you can see that it's going to want to put the electric field pointing towards it. And at point P, towards point A means to the left. And then positive charge, plus Q, then you have some other plus Q here. That's going to try and kick that one away. The electric field points away from positive charges and towards negative charges. Just remember, electric field will be in the same direction as the electric force for a positive charge. So just imagine where the positive charge is going to go and you get that direction, no problem. And to be away from B, if you're starting at point P, it also means towards the left. Similarly for my point C, charge D is towards and it's going to go the other way because it's going towards wherever point B sits. The calculation here is still E is equal to KQ over R and again we'll just work with the magnitude because we have that with the direction or R square so we still need R. R as we have worked out it's three centimeters putting this in meters then one centimeter to B then four centimeters to C, and 10 centimeters to D. The magnitude of the E then is just subbing these numbers in. Through some calculator work, we'll get unit is of course, Newton's per coulomb. Somewhat big numbers. That's okay, they're just numbers. The total E, you have to add them up like vectors again. So here we've worked out that this is to the left, so that's actually negative, 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 positive. So we add them up with the signs, Newton's per coulomb minus eight, nine, eight, eight, Newton's per coulomb. And finally we have a plus, because that goes towards the right. Some big number of Newtons per coulomb, because a coulomb is a huge charge, so it should have a huge force. And negative means it's technically to the left, but we'll keep the sign for now. Here's where the electric fields start to really shine, because to get the force then, because the question does ask for the force, is you just multiply by what the charge that you want to put at that particular point. So we put this whole thing down here, 
and multiply the charge and in fact it'll take care of the sign of the charge for you because if it's negative it will flip the sign and we get the exact same answer as before but what's cool here is now that we have the E if we say now Q is not 2 nanocoulomb but it's 3.5 now microcoulombs it would be easy to do right because it's just swapping this one you don't have to go through the chart again working out all the different forces again and then or if this was a negative you also don't have to do anything special here you just put it in here the negative negative cancel out you get a positive and you'll see that the negative charge would want to go towards the right so all that will be taken care of for you once you have electric field figured out the also added benefit is sometimes we can arrange multiple charges to get certain shapes of electric field and if the electric field is given you just have to multiply by q to find the force so that's why it's very helpful to map out these electric field even though it seems weird and invisible